Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and this is the slide that was submitted that we're looking at today that has a ton of individual pieces on it. And I've gone through and I've scrubbed out the text and I've changed some of the logos. Now this slide did come with a build sequence, so let's quickly take a look. So this is the first part of the slide. Some information appears, more information appears, and finally a circular arrow pops up. Now there's a lot of aesthetic stuff we could immediately dive in and start doing for this slide, but before we get carried away with any of that, the very first question you wanna ask yourself if this was your slide is, what's the point? What are you hoping that someone takes away from your slide? Because the last thing you wanna hear from your audience is the whooshing sound of an airplane taking off as your point goes way over their head. And the first rule to keep in mind when dealing with lots of individual pieces on your slide is chunky monkey. Almost everything in PowerPoint is better when it's dealt with and presented in chunks of information. It makes it easier to lay out on your slide as a slide builder. It makes it easier to present to an audience as a presenter, and it makes it easier to understand what you're talking about as the audience. So chunky monkey. So let's quickly take a look. So this is the final build sequence for our slide. And just thinking in Chunky Monkey, notice that we already have two specific chunks broken out along the bottom. And if I just highlight those chunks really quickly, we have this XY decisioning sequence that we're making a specific point about. And we also have this XYZ system that we're making a specific point about. So if this was my slide and I was presenting this live, I would also focus on removing this text. I would probably even try to go after this text um, down here below in the sequence. These would be the points you'd want to make verbally. So going with Chunky Monkey, this might turn into something like this. We have the XY decisioning sequence, and notice here that I'm adding or boiling all of that text down to one interesting fact that I'm trying to make about the sequence. And we also have the XYZ system, again, with one specific interesting fact that I'm trying to make. Now, if you weren't presenting this live, this was part of a pitch or proposal, you have room to add all of that text back. But again, if you're doing this live, that's the information that you'd wanna have memorized or bring up as people are looking at your diagram like this. So this is what our slide might look like going with the chunky monkey rule and just settling with those two specific chunks that were already part of our slide. The next thing I wanna look at are all of these arrows. And although the arrows I have here aren't horrible, I've seen a lot worse, generally speaking, the more arrows you have pointed in different directions on your slide, the harder everything becomes. It's harder to lay out and update your diagram as a slide builder, it's harder to present your diagram as a presenter, and it's harder to understand your diagram as the audience. Which brings up another nuts and bolts rule you can work with when dealing with lots of arrows like this to make your diagrams more effective. And that is rule number two, the river flows in one direction and so do people's eyes. And what I mean by that is, once you have your process broken up into the relevant chunks using the chunky monkey rule, it's best to have everything flowing just like a river in a single direction. That could be vertically down your slide, so going top to bottom, and if you had something really complicated, you could break it up into two columns like this and within any one of these chunks you actually might have some objects that are looping on themselves which is fine because it's still understood within the context of this chunk what that is so that's vertical you could also go horizontally across your slide and again if it was really complicated you could break it up into two horizontal rows like that if we again come back to the original build of our slide, and this time using both rules and focusing on this center circular arrow, which is kind of looping our graphic, I'm gonna again get rid of most of this text. Going with Chunky Monkey, we might decide that our graphic is best served, broken into four parts, which if we then put that together with the river flows in one direction, notice I have that same singular direction, even though it kind of loops on itself. From here to add the facts, you can just rearrange the graphic a little bit, and then if you need to walk through this step by step, you could just highlight or fade out the other parts of the graphic as you talk about the specific units or sections of your overall process. So those are your slide building rules for this episode of what's the point of your slide. Chunky monkey, grouping your information into relevant chunks that you wanna highlight, and the river flows in one direction, having your diagram flow in a single, super clear direction. If you found this episode helpful, please let me know in the comment section below or hit the like button below this video. This is still an experimental PowerPoint series and I'm only committing to six episodes at this time. For a PDF cheat sheet of these rules and links to other killer PowerPoint resources, see the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.